Hey there, this is Dr. Hodges, and today I'm actually going on a little evening walk. I was able to get off work a little early. I thought I'd get in some extra steps. I actually did a little short walk this morning, but I really wanted to kick it in because I've been slacking and eating a bunch of Halloween candy. So at last, here I am in the evening. Um, I wanted to do a short and sweet little um, video on, well, sweets. So I've had a, several patients coming in um, asking me about what are some things that could predispose them to dumping. And of course, it's always going to be carbohydrates. Everybody's a little bit different. But one of the things that I've noticed is that sometimes it's not just simple carbohydrates that could lead to dumping syndrome. Unfortunately, you can sometimes have some artific artificial sweeteners that could elicit that same response. So not all artificial sweeteners are created equal, no pun intended. And um, let's kind of talk about those. So when I was doing my reading, I found that the types of sugars that may elicit um, a response um, like dumping syndrome would essentially be the sugar alcohols. The sugar alcohols are these newer plant-based type of artificial sweeteners that um, would be sorbitol, maltolol, um, mannitol, and some examples of these would be um, stevia um, and, oh crumb, there's another one, um, new leaf, those are sorbitol. Typically, um, I think some of the newest ones, they're, they're in the sorbitol family. And you can just go on Google. I bet you could even go on Pinterest and get a little list. And actually, you know what I'll do? I'll do one better. I will write them out for you in the show notes. So the sugar alcohols, while they may not have any calories in them, and while they may sweeten your food, unfortunately, they may also cause dumping. This is a bummer for me because Laura, my office and manager and I, we um, are now on a baking kick and sweet kick trying to find what are some good bariatric dupes of um, sweets. And one of the things that I love to cook with is brown sugar. And there's actually a new brown sugar that is out there that is made up of an artificial sweetener. And I think it's called Swerve, but it's one of the sugar alcohols. So probably wouldn't be the best option for me to use. So it's kind of back to the drawing board on that one. Now, just because somebody uses a sugar alcohol, does that mean that you're gonna get dumping? No, it does not mean that at all. So if you work for Stevia, please don't rain down ugliness on me. However, just like any other carbohydrate, if you do too much of it, it may elicit um, a dumping response. What are the artificial sweeteners that have not been found to elicit dumping syndrome? And those would be the old faithfuls, the ones that everybody says, oh, they cause all these cancers. So that would be like saccharin. So that would be like sweet and low, NutraSweet, um, Equal, those um, old, older school artificial sweeteners. Those are not sugar alcohols. And so typically using those artificial sweeteners will not um, elicit dumping syndrome. So I hope this helps. Like I said, this is nice, short and sweet. I will again have a list of all these sweeteners in the show notes. And I really encourage you guys, go online and see what is your favorite treat and then try to make a bariatric friendly version. You might be really happy and surprised to find that many of the things that you enjoy, you can really make a good dupe for it, a really good substitution, and you can still enjoy the things that you like. It just, A, won't cause weight gain, and B, most importantly, it will not cause dumping. So, hope that this helped you guys. Y'all have a good one.